What's up everyone? Welcome back to Triad Trading. In this video, we're going to talk about what is stock float and how to use stock float to predict the biggest moves in the market. All right, so what exactly is stock float and what is the float of a stock? So simply put, stock float is the amount of shares available on the market to buy and sell in any given day. So why is knowing the, the float of a stock so important? Why is stock float so important? Stock float is important because you can gauge the level of volatility the stock will have in any given market day. Um, if you know the float of a stock, you can use it to predict and gauge the likelihood of having bigger moves in the market from having severe imbalances in supply and demand. Um, so pretty much the float of a stock is going to be your supply. And as we know with supply and demand economics, that's how prices move is, is by imbalances in supply and demand. More demand than supply, prices rise. More supply than demand, price decreases. Okay, now that we've talked about float and how float was the supply and how you can determine uh, the float of a stock. Now the other side of the coin is our demand. We can't have... We can't know that the stock is going to make a big move unless we know that the stock may have potential demand. The way we know the potential demand of a stock is by reading the volume. So there has to be volume on the stock for it to make a big move. The volume is going to be a potential demand, especially if it does have a catalyst on the day. There's more eyes now. If it does have a catalyst, there's more eyes now on the stock, which can bring even more volume. And when stocks have high volume, uh, now we know that they are going to be hitting uh, gap scanners. They're going to be hitting every, all these traders' gap scanners. There's going to be more and more eyes on it. And as there's more and more eyes on it, even more and more eyes get on it because it's hitting these scanners. And now we have just an influx of potential demand that can um, create that imbalance in these stocks that you can see these enormous moves on these stocks. Like we're talking HKD. MEGL, CXAI, GFAI, uh, IDAI, uh, ASST, uh, EYPT, all of these stocks had low floats and the volume had a lot of potential demand because of the volume coming in, um, causing it to have that severe imbalance in the supply and demand. And as we know, so an imbalance in supply and demand can cause prices to either rise or they can fall. So. And that's also to keep in mind, uh, you know, just as fast as things rise, things can fall uh, just as fast because with that float, since there's a little supply, if a lot of people start dumping their shares back on the market, um, you can see the price drop, drop just as fast, if not faster than it did rising up. So that's why it's important, um, you know, not only to know uh, the float of a stock to determine how big of a potential move you could see at the open, but also the volume. The volume is the other side of the coin. It's the demand part, while so, while the float is the supply part. All right, so how do we find the stock float? So the stock float we can find in uh, several different ways. Um, I like to go through a few of my favorite sites here, which is um, Finviz. Uh, you just type in the symbol here in the search, and then you can check out uh, uh, the float. I'm gonna use CXAI, for example. And you can come down here to shares float. And uh, here we say we have 0.94 million shares outstanding. Sometimes these aren't um, updated as frequently as we would like. So that's why it's good to cross check your results. Another site I like to go to is Guru Focus. And you can type that in the search bar, uh, the ticker, and then you can go to ownership, I click on ownership, and here we have flow percentage. Um, and then underneath the percentage is the float, so about 0.382 million shares. Outstanding, very, very tiny float, but they aren't the same as Finviz and Guru Focus. They are different, so that's why you want to cross-check your results to kind of get an uh, accurate uh, area of um, where the float is. Uh, you can also cross-check your results with NASDAQ, which is uh, every company has to uh, post their stock float and shares outstanding. Uh, you can also check um, any sort of offerings, any recent offerings or the amount of shares uh, dumped onto the market uh, through um, 
offerings. You can also check the 8K and the 10K to see the float and shares outstanding. So it's also another great site to check for stock float. So thank you guys for tuning in for this video about stock float and how to predict big moves in the market. If you guys have not already, please check out the links down in the description, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.